So recently I got my wisdom teeth removed, which was an interesting experience to say the least. And after having that done, I realized something so incredible, so amazing, and magnificent. Free, free content. It's, it's free content. So sit back, relax, and let the story begin. Alright, the time to talk about my wisdom teeth has come. So I guess I'm just going to give a brief overview of kind of like what kind of things happens during that process of having them removed and recovering and i'm still on the recovering part by the way it's like day eight or nine i think but i'm gonna try to give like as much as i remember about kind of like the whole process of that happening so it all started back when so i used to go to this one dentist all right and then this one dentist ended up retiring so we had to find a new dentist as one would so oh shoot my bed's gone here Never mind. What? That was fast. Um, so we found a new dentist, signed a bunch of paperwork, you know, as one does for new dentist things. Got a new dentist, this guy's about to take me out, um, and I went in for my first appointment. Uh, I'm lagging a lot. Went in for my first appointment, you know, they did a little bit of x-rays, not as bad as the first dentist, I guess they just, I don't know if my mouth got bigger or what, but the x-rays weren't as bad. And then... Just got the usual dentist routine stuff, scraping the teeth, you know, putting on the stuff. And then um, one of the doctors comes in and they're like, I guess the more advanced doctor or whatever. They're like the one that checks you after everyone's like cleaned your teeth and everything. And they ask me how old I am. I tell them I'm 18. And they, first thing they say is, oh, well, you need to get your wisdom teeth out. And I'm like, oh, no, this is the thing I've been dreading. See, like the whole thing, <laughs> I have been kind of just in perpetual fear of having this happen because at my old dentist, um, let's cue into another game. At my old dentist, I had kind of just been hoping they just forgot about my wisdom teeth or something, which I'm probably glad they didn't, but still, like, I just did not want to have this thing happen. I did not like the idea of being put under, having any kind of surgery done. I just really hoped I could skip it, but this dentist confirmed my fears that I was going to have to get that done, so unfortunate but necessary anyway where were we the announcement that i had to get my wisdom teeth out was kind of rough but you know it is what it is you gotta have it done if you gotta have it done so then they told me i don't know they kind of just did like the normal stuff and they also told me i had like two little um like developing cavities which were not ideal but they could still treat them because they were pretty small and also the uh pits in my top teeth Two of them are like really deep so they had to get those protectively filled so i had a lot going on that week um so i went in i think the next day because my mom and sister had an appointment so they just kind of put me in the same day i got the cavities treated and then i got the thingies filled which honestly like that part wasn't really bad it just took a while i had to tell them like apparently you're not supposed to feel it when they fill in the um I rushed the wrong direction. Apparently you're not supposed to feel it when you bite down that like you have any fillings, but I did for like three different times and then still a little bit at the end, but I just didn't want to be a problem. So I kind of just said like, you know what, it's probably fine. They told me if it's like really bad and I should probably come back in, but if it's just a little bit, it'll probably wear down over time, which is what I'm hoping. I don't really feel it anymore. So I'm hoping it actually worked. Anyway, after I got that stuff done, they were like, oh, you can come in on Monday and we'll Actually, wait, no, it wasn't that simple. I, I went through some, like, um, I don't know if it was, I don't know. They gave me a business card. What the crap just happened there? That was clean. Uh, we can trade out. Okay. Long story short, I got the appointment scheduled, and they asked me if I wanted to be put under, and I'm like, is it a choice not to be put under? Because I don't think that would feel very good. But, uh, ended up having that... I said yes to that because I didn't want to be awake during surgery, as most people probably would not want to be. So got that scheduled, and then my commentary skills are beautiful. The one fear I had started to not just be like getting put under, that was fine. The one fear I had was just like the needle going into my arm for some odd reason. I'm like, I don't want an IV, that does not sound comfortable at all. It wasn't even I was scared of just hurting. I just didn't want to deal with that, like, ooh, there's a needle in my arm feeling. Which I've never really had a problem with before, so I don't know why I started to, like, freak out now, but my bed's gone here. So, yeah, um, 
day comes around, wake up at like 7.30, something like that, take my shower, they, I, okay, so, I was supposed, okay, here's what happened, um, I, before going in, was supposed to not eat or drink after midnight, and apparently, I missed the part about not drinking, so, I drank water, like, at night and in the morning, I think, so they had, after the evaluation, they were supposed to go directly into it, apparently, which I also didn't know. Uh, they had to delay that for another, like, four hours, so <laughs> I kind of screwed that up a little bit, but it's fine, it worked out, or did it, no, I'm kidding. Um, so I got that amount of time waited out, and then after that happened, I went back in, and... I guess just had to wait in the lobby for a little bit, kind of nervous, heart was kind of racing a little bit. Then I went into the room and I don't remember exactly, let's see, I went into the room, they just kind of like took my blood pressure, put that little, like, you know that little um medical device that they like put on your finger and it like bites your finger and then it tells them your heart rate or something? They, had, they put that on my finger and then I know like, a blood pressure thingy and an oxygen mask which is the first time I've worn one of those because I'm not a smoker believe it or not <laughs> um, they put an oxygen mask on my face and then the doctor came in he was like all right um I don't know I think he gave like the risks again just of like going under and having the wisdom teeth removed and stuff like they could uh, chop a nerve when taking out your teeth that like connects to your like lip or something or lymph nodes I don't know it was a lot of nasty stuff it would have been very bad if it had happened thankfully spoiler alert it did not so um kind of just you know stuck the ivy in my arm I looked away it was not like half as bad as I thought it would have been I was like panicking for no reason this is like the easiest thing is like oh it's in my arm but like a second after that I'm like oh okay this is chill it didn't hurt at all it was kind of just weirdly uncomfortable but like not even half as much as I thought not even a third so that was fine and then he was about to say all right um he said all right so uh, you're gonna have a little funny feeling so he stuck the medication bag up to like the little I don't know attachment point in the anesthesia IV thing and ooh, let's go it's just a 1v1 now I've not gotten like any diamonds. So he hooked me up to the thing. So you might feel a little funny feeling. I don't know. Okay, it's weird to describe. It felt like I was eating something minty, even though I wasn't. But it wasn't like the taste. It was more of the feeling of eating something minty rather than the cold. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, it's. I don't know. It felt a little weird. That's the last thing I remember. The next thing I remember is me waking up on the bed like the operating thingy or whatever so that's kind of just i don't even remember dozing off that's the weird thing like i thought i would have just like slowly started to feel sleepy and then eventually just collapsed or whatever no i remember that scene and then i was awake like <laughs> i remember being consciously hasting mint and then waking up so i it was weird <laughs> it was very weird and then, uh, after that whole shenanigans, they were like, I think I asked them, is it over? And they were like, yep. My mom, okay, my mom says I was a little bit goofy, and this is the part you're all probably like, what happened, like, after you got off the stuff, did you say some, like, dumb stuff? No, actually, I was, like, fully in control of my brain. My mom says I was slightly goofy. Like, nah, she was tripping. I was perfectly fine. Everything made sense. I was disappointed. I wanted to feel like, oh, like legally high for the first time. It was going to be funny, okay? It did not happen. And I was very sad. So, yeah, I kind of just like, I, after I woke up, they took me to this one part and then they took me like out of the car. Bro, I could not see straight. I was seeing double of everything. Do I win this? Oh, GG. Nice. All right. I was seeing double of everything. I could not stand up by myself. I could not balance by myself. So my mom and dad kind of got on like either side of me and just like helped me into the car. That was interesting. And now part two of the story, the recovery. So basically, I say that a lot. So basically, no, okay. Uh, what happened? Um, after I got home, 
I'm pretty sure... I'm not actually sure when I started taking the medicine, but I think it was when I got home. I'm not sure if I ate anything the first day, but I do remember going to sleep. And so I got this little mouthwash kind of thing. I was supposed to, like, rinse my teeth with it. I think every, um... Every... After I eat every meal, or like two meals a day or something like that, I don't remember exactly. I'm still doing that. I'm not really that committed. <laughs> Probably should be, but you know. So I got this little mouthwash, blue fell, that's hilarious. Oh no, they just went back. Okay. Got this little mouthwash that I'm supposed to use. First day, it was kind of just like... I don't think I even ate any food, actually. It was either I didn't eat food or I ate applesauce, and let me tell you, bro. Applesauce is the most perfectest food. That is not a word and I do not care. It's the most perfect food you will ever eat when you have anything like that done. I couldn't really taste it the first day because my lower lip and my like tongue were both like completely numb, which was kinda goofy. Oh my gosh, he's back already. Man, it's like, okay. Long story short, applesauce good. It's not very smart so yeah that that rolled around i i had something i wanted to say about the first night versus the second night did i get off like the medic i don't i don't remember uh it oh yeah okay about the pain it did not hurt at all any time throughout until maybe the third day but we'll get there so the first day i don't think i ate anything and if i did it was only applesauce that's very intelligent of you sir the second day was I started to eat more like pudding and jello and applesauce. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the only things I ate those days. And then I don't remember. Why am I? You know when you think you thought something, but you don't know, you don't think you thought. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure I got a good night's sleep. I don't know why I remember that. And I don't know if that even happens, but it's in my mind for some reason. So I'm gonna, oh shoot, worked perfect. Yep, GG's. Uh, anyway, second day, I started eating a little bit more, like, you know, jello pudding, apple sausage variety. Uh, my lip complete, either completely or mostly stops being, you know, swollen. I think that's what it was. So, second day, I believe it was either fully or mostly... Okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> backtrack um first day i took multiple naps after i took one of the naps then my uh my lips like the left half of my lip started to feel like uh it was the only part of my mouth that was numb so i was like oh shoot what if they cut a nerve or like what if they did one of those things they were talking about because like i thought it would be all like fine by then but then like it went away overnight so it's not thankfully didn't happen in a bad way i english ha 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 third day i decided to be a little more risky i was kind of just like ready for this thing to be over i ate some squishy stuff but i also took a little bit of a risk okay so i was i was feeling a little like i saw some pork chop on the stove and i was like what is that what is that and i was like oh my gosh i want some of that so what i did was i took a knife and i chopped it up into like the smallest possible strips you could ever imagine and then i ate it with some relative struggle but we don't talk about that part no, i breezed through that stuff no um it was kind of hard because i had to chew it with my front teeth which was you know strange strange feeling but um yeah that's when it actually started to get good because i was like oh my gosh my first taste of like real food so that was nice bro trying to fireball me what do you think that's gonna do homie um yeah so next day more applesauce of course um i'm not sure what i ate for breakfast actually but i do remember the highlight of the day was eating chicken alfredo pasta and i ran out of blocks nice chicken alfredo pasta was beautiful and then the 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 um the sixth day bro or no fifth day sorry <laughs> bye bye the sixth day i had macaroni and cheese with chicken and hot sauce bro it was the most wonderful day of my entire life because i gotta eat macaroni and cheese and i was craving that stuff so much 
still haven't eaten tacos could you not please my bed is like perfectly fine the way it is it does not need you interfering gosh dang it what the what what high pixel no high pixels are the best high pixels goaded no question about it high pixel is goaded i am not bipolar so day six i <clears throat> genuinely do not remember any of the other days uh all i remember is the second day just like a little bonus tip bonus tips with val can i get up here no okay uh second day i watched youtube on my phone all day i'm not sure why that's relevant but i think it's cool because i figured out how to hook it up to my monitor which was very janky by the way and did not want to work but um yeah bad idea bud but yeah um I, that was fun i guess um don't really know what else to say so i guess i'll just like finish off this game and if anything else comes to me i'll just like put it in the video i guess i don't know uh, my bed's probably gonna get broken here in a minute by somebody or other oh hi oh you don't have iron armor or enchantments but you do have 250 ms so you're unkillable i hate my life high pixel that's not even high pixel that's because i'm not on ethernet right now one thing i will say is a lot of people think and i thought too that you would like be in more pain than you would it's really not that bad at all like i did not feel pain until day three which i did say i would get to so i'll talk about that now i started like going off of the pain stuff because my mom's like oh it's bad because i i <laughs> it's apparently a little bit addictive i didn't really notice but um it's probably because i stopped on like day three so when i stopped taking medication i was taking like probably three or four pills twice a day ish it started to hurt a little bit like one time on that day and then like it's hurt like a little bit more but it's not really a hurt it's more like a discomfort and i didn't have my ladders in the right slot average 4v4 bell moment bye bye your bed's mine <clears throat> unless he has obsidian or something stupid bye bye final you're mine why did i say that like mary poppins just like sing songy <clears throat> I can't talk either. My voice is kind of like going for some reason. But yeah, it's it's really not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a whole lot worse, and then it turned out to be like, oh, just like kind of taking your teeth out. They make it sound so much worse than it's gonna be like. We have to chop up your teeth into little pieces and take it out. I'm just like, I didn't even remember falling asleep. <laughs> it was fine. But yeah, it does not really hurt if you take the medication properly, and um. Just don't stress it, I guess. It's really not that much of a big deal. Just like, oh, getting teeth out. A lot less bad than you think it's gonna be. Commentary, commentary, commentary. Peak commentary. I'm just gonna go grab a another fireball and a gap and then call it good and just, like rush the heck out of them. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. I need protection. Feather fall with you. Now I don't really need a ladder clutch, but oh well. What's this guy? Oh shoot, I should be at my bed, shouldn't I? You know what? I want to play the long game. I want protection. Unless this guy is like some kind of crazy camper or something. It's just like making a castle around his bed, like you know the average. Oh. Come onto the bridge. Bro. That's unfair. You got the, the triangle advantage. Technoblades, magical triangles. What am I saying, bro? The technoblade thing. The, 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 okay, I'm done. I'm done trying to explain it. It's the thing where if you're lower than them. Never mind. Just never mind. So I think the strat is just like throw myself at them and like don't stop until they've been drained of all their HP. But they do have gaps. I have to play this smart. It's not something I'm good at. That's why I play boxing on Mind Men because it doesn't require thinking. <laughs> oh, and I'm lagging too, that's great. Okay, I got him to nine. That is not acceptable. I need to do better. Okay, I need to outplay this guy. I'm not gonna beat him in just like a 1v1. 
Uh, he's been getting a lot of stuff. I need to ditch my bed or else I'm just crawling. Because he's got all sorts of gaps. And I have nothing right now but a fireball and four gold. Oh. Well, that's nice. Uh, GG's. Um, I'm not confident about this anymore. Shoot. Well, at least he did that instead of breaking the bed first. Need him off. That's the only way. It's the only way, bro. Oh my gosh. Come here. No, you're not gonna be there. Gosh. Okay. There's no way I clutch this up. Yep. GG's. Peru. Huh? Do this better. GG's, man. Look at that. A non toxic Bedwars player. When's the last time you've run into one of those? I want everyone to say W in the chat for in Nessie. Alright. W to Nessie in the chat. I want that spammed in the comments below. Alright, bye!